Yo, what up? It's your boy Black with Black TV, where we give you reviews and hip hop news. And today, we are going to be doing a review on the brand new Sony slash Marvel bad guy movie, Morbius. But first, don't forget to hit subscribe to Black TV for more reviews, more reactions. Hit that like button. And in the comment section below, tell me what bad guy you would actually like to see a movie about that they haven't even made yet. I mean, Sony's making all these bad guy movies. I mean, why not? Put in the comments and let me know what movie you would like to see a villain about. I mean, I like the Joker. The Joker. Not, not not this joker not this joker but without any further ado let me go ahead and give you my opinions about this movie morbius and and uh let you know if it's a good time morbius rated pg-13 is about a biochemist michael morbius tries to cure himself of a rare blood disease but he inadvertently infects himself with a form of vampirism instead and that's basically it that's basically what the movie is about but like i said before this is a spider-man villain movie and it really doesn't have a lot of context as far as uh the comic uh story about this character but let's go ahead and get into my likes what i actually like about Mor morbius is the cgi the cgi was pretty good this is not no sci-fi cgi i mean as far as the facial expressions and the action here and there the cgi wasn't that bad like it was a scene in the movie where it was kind of like they did the little benjamin button thing where jerry leto was like weak and frail and then you could tell it was somebody else's body with jerry leto head and for a second i thought it was jerry leto and i'm like dude how you get yourself like that because i know actors be so dedicated in their role they'll change their physical appearance you know what i'm saying and the next thing the acting really wasn't that bad i mean overall everybody did a good job as far as what they was uh, given in the roles they was in in Morbius. Now, I will say it's certain characters that I don't think should have been in the movie. They were just there just to be there. But, I mean, the acting was pretty good. Nobody did a bad job at, in, in the acting department. But this is a nice, average movie. If you like vampires, if you're a huge vampire lover, you will actually like this movie. I mean, the story like the writing for as far as the story in the movie i mean it was quick and simple this movie was like an hour and 48 minutes and i like the fact that they didn't make this a three hour movie i mean like it's just it's basically a movie where it's trying to connect certain dots in the sony marvel universe now to my dislikes it is a bunch of fighting in this movie and I couldn't see nothing. Now, I understand this is a PG-13 movie, but this is a vampire movie. You would actually think it would be some blood here and there, right? Wrong. If it was some blood in this movie, it would be rated R. I'm just saying. But I don't like the fact that this is a downright vampire movie and it was no blood and like i really couldn't see no kind of fighting sequences because morbius and the villain of the protagonist of this movie they move so fast you couldn't tell what they were doing and i forgot to mention tyrese is in this movie and i'm gonna say this right here i know tyrese is a big comic book fan and i know he probably loved to be in this movie but his character is too tough for no reason. He plays this detective to try to find out who is killing all these people, like they're uh, Dracula. And it's like Tyrese is acting like a bad, tough cop, and he ain't getting nothing resolved. Like nothing. And my last gripe is like, this movie is gonna make, make sure that you know it's in the Venom Sony Marvel Universe. It's like a lot of stuff that's shoot in in the movie to let you know that. Just like in the trailer, you know, he says the whole part like we are Venom and then laugh it off. Like that's in there. Then it's a bunch of Daily Bugle, Spider-Man news articles all out through this uh movie just to let you know like, hey, hey, 
this is this is a spider-man movie this is a spider-man movie i think it helps for the average movie goer to let them know what's going on because it is a lot of superhero movies that's out now and for the average movie goer i think it helps but for somebody that loves hero movies it it was like thrown in my face but let me go ahead and give my rating to morbius i'm gonna give it a five out of ten i mean it really isn't a bad movie like every critic is saying on the internet it's not a great movie but it, i don't think it's a terrible movie it is a great netflix movie something like you know watch one time you enjoy it and you just does, don't want to watch it again i wouldn't recommend anybody to go to the theaters unless you don't have anything to do but it's, it's an okay movie if you're a big marvel superhero movie gore guy like me I recommend for you to go see this because it has two post credit scenes that connects it to uh, a certain thing that's gonna go on. I don't wanna do no spoilers, but I highly recommend everybody that likes superhero movies to go see it. So I give it a five out of 10. But the most important question is, what do you think of Morbius if you've seen it? Do you like it? Do you love it? What do you like about it? Do you? actually want to go see this movie or what is your thoughts on the movie put that in the comment section below and let me know and let to next time i holla next time on black tv